My name is Matt Walter. I uh, direct this group of individuals in front of you. We are uh, the Huntington, um, well, we, we call ourselves the Erie Jazz Band. The reason we call ourselves the Erie Jazz Band is we're kind of an extension of the Huntington's community band, which is called the Erie Band, um, which is named that because of the history. It goes back to that that was a band that played, it was uh, one of the railroad bands, and the big band that the railroad that we had in Huntington was the Erie Railroad. So, um, anyway, that's the word we get the name, the Erie Jazz Band. That's kind of officially our title. I'm going to apologize in advance because when we walked in here today and started listening to what it sounded like in here, we we're like, we're going to be pretty loud in here. So hopefully, hopefully that's uh, not too terrible. And I understand we're also joined uh, on folks watching on on camera to set up too. So welcome to all of you as well. Um, so I'll kind of introduce some of the people in the band as we go along, but I want to get some music started here pretty quick. We're going to start out with a. Uh, a Swing tune called Night Train.
section. Uh, here on the end, on bass trombone, he loves uh, playing the bottom parts. Is Andrew Kreider, he's a senior at Huntington North High School. Here's Morgan Garner, all the way to Silver. Owen Fallis. Doug Claus is a community member. And on the end, we think he might be the busiest man. Uh, Mike, uh, I know he can play with the uh, with the Mississippi Wall Band. All right, name name. Peru's Circus. Peru's Circus Band. Wabash Community Band. Wabash Community Band. That's it. That's it. And, and, and us, yes, we get we get to share him. So anybody who's also playing with uh, a lot of these same folks, uh, we we kind of started up for a we didn't really start up. Um, we're, we're so close there in Huntington. We've got Huntington University. We're real fortunate to have a beautiful campus over there, Huntington University, and, and a lot of good partnerships, a lot of the music things that go on there. There's a lot of people that are involved kind of both places. Um, and so but several of the people up here are also uh, part of the kind of duly established, they've had a jazz class over there, but it's usually been a smaller group. And this year, uh, Dr. Killing, who's the department chair there, kind of, I can tell, kind of wanted a bigger program. And uh, so, anyway, long story short, we kind of built a, a kind of more this size of a band over there. A lot of the folks in here are also participating in that, including Mike. So I think, and this is saying something, because some of these kids are involved in a lot of stuff. Mike might be the busiest musician up here. So give Mike a hand. Let's start with a song for my father by Tor Silver, right? <laughs>
Caleb Skiles here on tenor saxophone. Anybody that knows Caleb knows that he's he, he's he's a he, he's a little bit of a shy guy. And he, he doesn't he really love the limelight, but I still kind of brag on him because uh, he's planning to go to Ball State next year and study and do and, and uh, study jazz studies. And uh, a few weeks ago, we were at uh, Carroll High School for an ISMA jazz. Um, Festival, and I'm going to have to ask him because the number got so big I lost track. Because by right, these uh, jazz uh, contests, or at least this one, they give out little blue ribbons for if somebody plays a solo. That uh, the, there's three judges, and if at least two of the three judges say that was an outstanding solo, um, they get a little blue ribbon. And Caleb had uh, played part with uh, several. Uh, we had three different jazz groups there, and I think he had six total. Is that right? Six total solos, we've got six total solo awards, so the no rhythm section here while we're at it. Hiding back there, it's Tommy Bollinger on the drum set. <laughs> Tommy actually works up at PFW in the, what would you say, the computer department? Computer science, computer science department. Uh, but he's a, he's a heck of a drummer, as you can see, and we love having him here. Uh, Cameron Oswald on the bass, Kara Huntington North, and uh, I, I'm always asking him, He's a really good soloist too, but you guys might never know it because he, 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 never, he always tells me no if I say, do you want one? But sometimes I say, no, you got to take one. But at that uh, contest, uh, the one solo that you played, you got an award for, right? You got a, but certainly not least here on the keys. Uh, and this, this young man has got an incredible amount of talent. Anybody that's been around him for any amount of time can attest to that. Uh, because he was uh, he was uh, in the All State Jazz Band both of the last two years, which is a very interest. It's a really tough feat because no matter what school size, no matter what what school you're at, they they take a band about this size of students from across the entire state, every high school in the state. Now, so he's playing keys for us here tonight, doing a nice. But that's not the instrument that he's been in the All State Jazz Band for. He's actually a trumpet player and. Uh, also, he and Caleb are going to be reunited, if you will, next year at Ball State. He's going to be a double major, at least the, the, the last last I checked, we're about 99% sure. I think we're doing a double major in math and jazz studies.
Thank you.